Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I have a friend getting married and she wants black and white plates. Unfortunately, we can't get any, we couldn't find anything that she wanted. So what I did was I said to her, you know what we'll do? Let's just get the design that you want and we will take a plate just like so and we will paint them with ceramic marker pens. Now I'll put the link for where you can buy the pens in a minute. But the other thing that my friend wanted was, she wants daisies and this is the design of the fabric that she's going to make all the table napkins off. So what I've done is I've just taken some of the little designs on the fabric here and just transferred them across and onto the plate really really great products here they are here they come in a set of eight colors the great thing about this is you don't have to heat set them so that once the design is on and it's dry and it only takes a few moments for that to dry it doesn't scrape it doesn't chip well the plate will chip so it will chip off but it stays put and it's fantastic so when you get your pens there is a little bit of work involved with using them there's it's one of those shake you've got to shake 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 it takes several moments well it took nearly a minute to shake it down and I'll just show you what I mean by that like when you get them there's nothing on that little nib there and it's the amount of shaking vigorous shaking I want to say is what's necessary until you get the, the ink down down into the little nib at the end. Now from there it's just to make sure that this is completely clean and then it's just a matter of doing whatever design you want onto your plate and if you do make a mistake what you can do is when it's still wet, just get a cloth and just give it a little bit of a wipe over. So I did a whole heap of these at the weekend. In fact, we've done 50 so far. We've got another 50 to go. She's only having 100. Thank goodness she's not having 200 because I was getting a bit sick of it by the time we hit 50. But I think that for as an idea for doing your own ceramic or for having your own designs onto plates or platters it's a fantastic idea so when i see you again in part two i'll show you the two different types of flowers that we're going to be she has to decide what we want to do but as a you know for something great to do and to personally you know do your own plates it's a great idea i'll see you again in a minute now my wee bride can't decide whether onto her plates that she's going to have people eating off, plus she's going to run them along the table, whether she wants to have a little daisy terrarium on the top like so, which I think is quite, quite lovely, or she said that she might like da like tulips and she quite likes some of the Ikebana stuff I've been doing of late. So I thought, okay, let's kill two birds with one stone. I'll show you how to do this and I'll also show you how you could do something Ikebana or just with a few flowers. So on to here I have a little cube, which I actually, to be perfectly honest, prefer this the the design around the outside and then the block in the inside. I've got some tulips here and I've got some branches. So to visually make this look just a little bit bigger and not visually interfering, I thought that we could have a nice branch into there. Now when I see that going off there, I know that I'm not adhering to the principles of a cabana. So I'm just going to put that down into there and I might just bring that one there into the other side of it. I'll bring that down and into there like so. And then I've got these little leaves, little bay leaves that I've just wired and I'm going to just put those down and around like so. Just to pretty much all I'm trying to do is to just cover the foam. I could use some moss, but I didn't have any of that. And then just using one of these, just bring those down and into there so that I'm starting to step it all up. Like so. I think I've decided that sometimes when these wee brides have got too much time, 
a little bit too much wasting of time can actually be incurred as you go through a million little steps until you achieve the target of what it is that you want. I'll just bring that down and into there and then that one can go into there. So the, the leaves around the base have just actually become just like a little collar around the outside. Okay, so there we've got the base and I'm actually thinking I'm liking this much better than what she was thinking she wanted. Now with the tulips, I'll just cut that off there. And tulips at this time of the year are very, very cheap here in New Zealand because it is summer. At, uh, sorry, it's spring, so I'm just going to bring that down into there. And then, oops, the smallest one. I'll go from the smallest ones down into the base. And it's made a little bit difficult because, of course, I put the everything in first and didn't put it in last, which could possibly have been the best way forward. And then I'll just bring these over to this side and there and then I'll bring one down a little bit lower into there. Now let's just have a look and see what it's looking like. I think just between you and I that that will be a much better look for on the table and I'll show you why. We'll just have another look at this and then we'll bring that to there. If she's looking for something low, then that will be fine. But I think that the base is just a little bit, I don't know, there's something just not quite right about that, as opposed to that with the tulips. And yes, it is high, but you can still visually see through the design. So somebody sitting on the other side of the table isn't going to be fighting around sticks or big volumes of material up the top here. So there you have the lovely plate that we have done. You can, the, it comes, as I said, in a range of eight colors. So you could choose whatever you wanted to match in with your wedding colors. And just by keeping the flowers white, I think that that says a lot for not very much. And it is very economical just using one flower, a few branches and a few leaves. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I look forward to seeing you again another day. Mm -hmm.